The focus of this lecture is on projecting three-dimensional CAD objects to two-dimensional orthographic views using the ISO first angle projection technique. As mentioned in previous lectures, the first angle orthographic projection method is what countries other than the US and Canada use when creating and laying out views on their engineering drawings. In this lecture, I will define and explain the meaning of the first angle projection symbol. Discuss how first angle views are created. And provide an explanation of where standard first angle orthographic views are placed with respect to a chosen front orthographic view. Let's begin. This is the symbol placed on engineering drawings to denote views of the drawing were created using first angle projection. To help you understand this symbol, I have created a truncated cone using the Siemens NX CAD system. Next, I placed the, the cone inside of a glass cube. The faces of this glass cube represent the standard six orthographic planes, front, right, top, left, back, and bottom. Using first angle projection, this is the front orthographic plane. It sits behind the object being projected. In other words, the object sits between the viewer's eye, the blue arrow, and the plane on which it is being projected. Notice how I have projected the circular edges of the cone onto this front plane. This is the right side plane. Again, it sits behind or on the opposite side of where I am viewing the object. Notice how I have projected the silhouette and planar edges of the cone to the right side plane. This shows a partial rotation of the right side plane. And this image shows the right side view of the cone fully rotated into the plane of the front view. When you look normal to the front view, we see this image, which helps explain the meaning and definition of the first angle projection symbol. To further illustrate the ISO first angle view projection, I have created another simple doorstop and placed it inside of a glass cube. The large blue arrow is our viewing direction. Notice the white surfaces visible from the front are projected to the back wall of the glass cube. This 2D view is called the front orthographic view. Repositioning our viewing direction to the right side of the doorstop we again identify the visible white surfaces that are projected onto the wall of the glass cube. This 2D view is given the label right side view. Once again, we reposition our viewing direction so as to look down from the top of the doorstop. The visible surfaces are highlighted white and projected down to the wall of the glass cube. This 2D view is given the label Top View. Folding the right and top view back into the plane of the front view shows their position and alignment with respect to the front view. Had we continued to project the, the left back and bottom orthographic views to the other walls of the glass cube, 
and unfolding them to the plane of the front view would produce this drawing view layout. This is the ISO standard first angle orthographic view positioning and alignment layout of engineering drawings. Let's watch this animation one more time. Notice the right side view is to the left of the front view, and the top view unfolds below the front view. It is also fair to say that, the, that a doorstop this simple would never need all six orthographic views placed on a drawing. However, complex real-world models may need all six ISO first angle projected views. In addition, they may need even more detailed section and auxiliary views. Having finished this video, you should now be able to 1. Recognize and explain the meaning of the first angle projection symbol. 2. Describe how first angle views are created. And three, describe how first angle, and three, describe how first angle 2D drawing views are located and positioned with respect to the front drawing view.